What I presented today is uh, is the story of what happened in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands after the tsunami of uh, December 2004. The main point that I've been trying to make is that while all of us remember December 2004 for the tsunami, a very important dimension to the islands is actually the earthquake that caused the tsunami. So a lot of, particularly in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, not say for mainland India, because what evidence is there with some good scientific work is that uh, there was a tilt and there was a shift in the lay of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Parts of the Andamans came up, were uplifted permanently by about 3 to 5 feet and the Nicobars, particularly in the southern part, the island of Great Nicobar, there was a submergence, a permanent submergence of about 15 feet. So a lot of the damage that we saw in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, a lot of the changes that we have seen in the last 10-15 years and even immediately, including uh, loss of li human life, loss of agricultural land, a loss of housing, was not solely because of the tsunami but the earthquake also actually played a very important role and this is something that has not been acknowledged and I just want to bring that into notice because there are implications for this uh, in what the future development and policy planning happens in the islands because these islands are in an extremely seismically active zone their earthquakes regularly happen over there and unless we plan uh, development unless we plan construction and other activities keeping that in mind uh, we actually might be creating more trouble than solving the problems that we have.